On this episode of Needless to Say, we designed the Dad Divorce Land theme park, Thanksgiving dinner ruined by candy corn, naked Germans in nature, unlikely sex music, how quickly would Jesus want to go back into his cave if he was resurrected today, and David Blaine's douchiness magically appears on Chris Angel. If you're ready for some non-COVID, non-political laughs, then buckle up. Now, maestro, hit my music. This happens when you're focused on your goals. <laughs> you were BS bad stamina baracus. <laughs> I just got an egg timer. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Needless to Say. I'm Craig, and I am here with Dave and Brad. And they have about as many ideas this week as I have for this intro, <laughs> which is zero. Actually, I'm pretty sure I had one. Yeah, you did. You did. Yeah, it was. It was the right one, too. Yeah. If only we could put voting bo- buttons up on our two intros. Just yeah, to see what the just results would be. Just to see what the be. results would be. Well, I think we should do it by mail. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Let's see what happens. You can't. They're taking the mailboxes away. I know. <laughs> so you can have a mail to my address so there's no interference, but there's only yeah. one of our friends who knows where I live. Oh, it's funny. Wayne. <clears throat> They took the mailboxes away. Your mails still arrive at the same time it normally did. Late. <laughs> fucking late. But they took <laughs> mailboxes away. The human stool sample in, fuck, in charge of our fucking country has decided to get two mail-in votes from Florida anyway. Yeah. He spent the better part of two months telling us that it was not democratic, it was not this and not that. Don't want to get political, but you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we've established this on this show, because we try not to get political, but... Yeah, he's a stool sample. <laughs> he's a giant festering yeah. turd inside of a Chinese food container that you leave at your yeah, doctor. Would you use he the actually word did so, he actually he's actually done some good stuff though over the past uh like two weeks with the lowering. That of, one time he didn't speak? But yeah, well there's that. <clears throat> that would be the best thing he's could have done. He's you know. Hmm. But um when he let his he hair did, down. um <laughs> No, he did that uh help mitigate that um Peace agreement between Israel and the and the uh, that showed EAU. up out of nowhere, yeah. And and then not only that, the insulin thing was huge, bringing down the cost of insulin uh, and stuff. I can't argue that good shit. He's done good shit throughout this presidency, yeah. But it's that embarrassing shit that continues that to go. Fucking over. buries all of his good shit. Also, yep. you got to know when to make jokes. If you're in line at TSA, you really want to make a joke. Like, what do you think I got strapped to my ankle? <laughs> yeah, chuckle, yeah. chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> But you don't do it. When you're doing a press conference, obviously he's not saying he's going to rig the election and affect the mail system. And then mailboxes start disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> They're literally ripping them out of the concrete. <laughs> I wasn't here. I don't know. I don't, that wasn't me. I don't know. <laughs> Stool sample. Yep. See, I, I disagree. Sample implies that you want to use it for something. <laughs> it's medically relevant. S- yeah. Stool leftovers. Yeah. <laughs> I would like a stool sample. Leavings. Yeah, leave. <laughs> scat. Yeah. <laughs> Again, scat's used. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should send stool samples to his doctor in Texas that believes in like fucking witches and demons. Probably. Yeah. I, yeah, send, send those samples back to China. Doctor Elvira Fauci. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dumb. Oh shit! Uh, Could you imagine being in like Bangladesh and be like, "Well, thank God we're not there." Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. Yep. Your roof is like one box of an Amazon delivery, and you're like, "Thank God." Yeah. <laughs> You order nothing from Amazon just to get the box. Yeah. Because you were adding on to your house. Yeah. Your house what is an addition. <laughs> your house is being held together by flies. Yeah. 
and they're all over your children, but at least the flies listen to you and don't judge you for making a comment on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> you ordered a cubic yard of air. It just showed up in a three by three by three box. Like, hey, honey, we've got a new room. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they pack some of those styrofoam peanuts in it so you can have a mattress. <laughs> those, those giant like mini pillow sized airbags. Yeah, I, ordered, yeah. I ordered a memory card and it came in a box that could hold like fucking skate shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing today. I had some electrical switches come in. Yeah. Is uh, the bag is the fucking is the the size of my cell phone. The box. I was fucking huge. I, could, yeah. I, it, I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I thought I got the wrong delivery. Yeah, but you opened it. You're yeah, like, yeah, I opened it. Mine. I'm like, oh, there, yeah, that's it. Totally mine. Like, yeah, my, my four foot recycling bin is full. I'm like, what did you get? I ordered thumbtacks. Yeah, <laughs> and it's the whole box is just taking up half of my yeah. recycling bin. Send it to Bangladesh. Yeah, <laughs> make them happier than they yep, already are. Not it. to be America. Yeah, just, just sell it as a prefab house. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. Well, my week was good. I'll start off because yeah. <laughs> I, I don't have a whole lot going on. Um, works fine, so there's no story there. Um, I publicly shamed Cox this week as the internet went out because a breeze came through Warren. <laughs> so that was that. It's a southwesterly breeze. We're not prepared for that here. Agreed. And then I, I you know, I, I had a, a weird moment in the shower tonight, and I know you want to hear about this. Um, I, the sh- <laughs> shampoo bottle, or the body wash bottle, I should say, I closed it, and it closed funny, and it shot like a giant spray of green onto the wall and alone in the bathroom i said yeah you like that didn't you (laughs) it spurted right out and i I said in my most lecherous voice possible i'm like yeah yeah (laughs) that's right were you talking to the wall or the bottle both. Okay, I didn't know if you looked at the wall like, you take it. I was talking to myself in the shower because because physics made a little bit of excess body wash hit the wall, and I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Tell me you like it. <laughs> Tell me you like it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And that was my week. Did, Craig? Meanwhile's <laughs> <laughs> wife snuggling up to a two by four <laughs> inside. <laughs> I put bath tile in between us just to make it more romantic. (laughs) (laughs) I'll give you a backsplash. (laughs) Bring me the conditioner when you're done with the shower. (laughs) You need body. (laughs) (laughs) My week was uh, started off real bad. Like not just, you know, like I was in one of those moods. Usually I get up in the morning have a cup of coffee. I'll sit there, flip through my phone, look at the news, check Facebook. Yeah. And I start che- and Facebook has become like I stop I I can't look at it anymore. It's, I don't. Because it's just become a fucking cesspool of fucking political argument. It's people arguing with posts. It's, it's, it's dumb people it, it, arguing. It, it, it's just shared fucking memes or something with some fucking political statement in it that is ridiculous. Yeah. You know, and Hey, or, do you agree with me? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Or or <laughs> something about COVID-19 and you know, either, you know, wear a mask, don't wear a mask, you know, like th- this shit. And I was like I actually wanted the flat earth people to come back. <laughs> 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 I was like, but uh, even to a point where I got where are I, those dummies when you need them. Yeah, I got. Um, <laughs> I think it was two. It was Tuesday or Wednesday morning. I went into work, and someone started talking about politics. The second I fucking walked through <sighs> the door, and it's a person who constantly talks about this stuff, and I didn't want to hear it. I just had had it. Yeah, and so everybody's standing around, bullshit, and drinking their coffees and stuff, and. He said it, and I just, he looked at me like, so what do you think? And I said, you want to know what I think? I said, you know what would be great for this fucking country and the world right now? A fucking media the size of Texas (laughs) slamming into the fucking Pacific Ocean right now. I said, I want to sit back and watch it all fucking burn. Yeah. (laughs) I I was fucking, and I'm yelling it. And I'm like, fuck this. 
fuck Facebook and all this political bullshit. Because guess what? You're wrong. They're wrong. Fucking nobody's right. That one's lying to you. That one's lying to you. <laughs> They're all fucking lying to you. <laughs> You're not getting fucking the news is lying to you. The politicians are. I was like, fuck everybody. Fuck everything. I was fucking done. All right. Can I say I hope it lands in the Atlantic, though? Because the Long Island surfing is going to be amazing. <laughs> It might make another sandbar. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, those double dippers, man. You're talking offshore curls. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Hugo. This yeah. video is a bomb. <laughs> but yeah, I just fucking I had had it, and I, and that was it. And I, but I felt good after I fucking went off. Like I relaxed a little bit. Yeah. And then, uh, then the rest of my week was just normal. But I was just looking forward to tonight. Actually, oh. throughout the week, like let me just get to tonight to hang out have the weekend off to relax and just, just chill out and yeah. that, you know but that was it yeah, that, yeah. That, all that shit i can't i don't i can't look at facebook anymore I, i'll go on facebook the only reason i joined facebook whenever i did years ago was to get like updates on movies coming out and see, yeah like things, things like well, that like i'm i like that stuff i'm like all right let me see what these people think about this movie like i get into those things see but, that's what that's my thing is like right. i got a lot, lot of like star wars shit a lot of yeah. you know stuff that i'm interested in yeah. Top five fastest knockouts in UFC history. Yeah. I'll watch that for five yeah. minutes. I love that I shit. I have watched that. Yeah. Right, well, that's like those things I'm good with. But then you start seeing but, these posts. I'm like, and then, uh, it, then it would be before it would be, you know, it was like, I want someone to post a picture of their fucking dinner so bad right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know? Like, We've reached that point of like fucking desperation. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, just please, somebody post it. Like, because I didn't mind going on there. You know, seeing my, my buddy's kids or something like that, you know, having a good time on a beach or something. It's like, yeah. that was cool to people that I don't see that often, you know, yeah. see what they're up to. I was fine with that. I didn't mind that. But it, like you said, I was more into it for the looking for. Why don't you do this? Why don't discussion? you create a meme that says, I know most of you won't share this, <laughs> but I really want to look at your dinner. I really want to look at your dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hurry up before Facebook bans it. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Do we see any more shared band posts this week? It's been yes, two more. Come yeah, on. There you go. Yeah. It's been a big thing on the right oh. there. <laughs> yep. It's ridiculous. Ban it's this. Ban. It's still up. It's been up since last fucking Friday. <laughs> They're probably, I think you're good. It They're, disqualifies it from the banned category. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like putting a parental advisory sticker like on your monitor and saying this is banned. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> So tired of stupid. <laughs> Dave, I got to get to your weekend review yeah. because you let off with a bullet point about a bullet hole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's have it. <laughs> All right. I have to give a little background, I think. Oh, no doubt. And it's kind of, But it's kind of hazy. Here's the thing. So, have you... <laughs> <laughs> this will be funny in a minute. Have, have have you guys ever and and if you're listening like just think about this have you ever gotten like a little buzzed with your significant other or, or even a friend or something one night and you just have like a fun like a funny conversation the next day you you kind of most of it is kind of hazy you don't remember what you talked about but there's one or two things that stand out you remember mm. this one thing and you know it was funny but you don't remember the context the con- around it yeah how you got to it or what yeah this is what happened to my wife and I the next day, we were talking, and actually, she sent me a text out of the blue. We're, we've been home all weekend vacation. Like, she's seven feet away from me. Right, so she just sends me a text, and the text says, butthole clit. <laughs> now, I want everyone to, to audibly digest that for a minute. Butthole clit. Yeah. As if your butthole has a clit. Yeah. <laughs> And she, as soon as I read it, I started laughing. Oh, it must be like the females. I still haven't found it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Dave finds it twice a day. That's yeah. right. Usually by accident. <laughs> but out of the blue, I read it and I started laughing because I remembered it was something we laughed our asses off at the night before. Yeah. Neither of us can remember the context. She said to me today, why were we talking? Why did that come up? And I said, I have no idea. But just say it. It's funny. Yeah. Butthole clit. Yep. Think about it. Clit. Maybe there is one. Maybe. You, you never know. I'm already thinking of the album cover. Right. <laughs> 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 but it was one of the all week, 
Now, all week we've been with all three kids doing like going to the aquarium, doing these other things. And every once in a while, like she'll look at me and just kind of like smile and giggle and I'll do the same thing. And yeah. I know like butthole clit. <laughs> like, yeah. There it is. That's It's just been the running joke this week between the two of us and no idea where it came from. Yeah, that's no fun. Idea. It's fun though, like something yeah. like that. Yeah, it's like she she went out with her her one of her friends on Monday night, and they go to this place right down the street. And she had, she always comes home a little buzz, went good to have fun, whatever. Yeah, and I was still up, like I had all the kids in the house, and I just hung out for a while, and we were just fucking silly. I had a few drinks myself and just joking, and I don't remember. <laughs> I remember the laughing. It was funny. Don't know how we got there. So yeah. let's get to the part where Arya is running around the house screaming butthole clip. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know it's coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh without a doubt. You told happen. the story a few weeks ago. But she just ran around going nipples, 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 oh, nipples. Yeah. Nipples, man. Yeah, last week it was damn it. Oh, really? Oh, I, was bring, awesome. I was bringing her to daycare. And it was one of those mornings that we just woke. <clears throat> we woke up 10 minutes later. But in the whole scheme of things, like getting her over there, then getting back home to be logged in and ready. For, and as I'm walking out the door, I'm like, oh, I didn't brush her teeth yet. Damn it. And then she was right behind me marching all two and a half feet of her like, damn it. The same way I said, I was like, fuck. She said, yeah. <laughs> and I couldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Honey, just say butthole clit. Yeah, just, right. Yeah, just, there you go. <laughs> what's worse? Yeah. <laughs> oh, like I had this science teacher in high school that was like, shit. Fuck, I swore. And like, like yeah, but he said just, the whole reaction out yeah. loud. It got, Mr. C, it got worse. It got worse. Yeah. Mr. C. Even, yeah. C, Mr. C word. Mr. C, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to drop his, I can drop. Mr. Yeah. Coit. Yep. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Coit. Shit, fuck, I swore. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, we really blew up his spot. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd be surprised if he was still around. Yeah, he probably retired 20 years ago. Oh, uh, at least. Yeah. Died uh, fucking 10. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's been the running like joke in my house for the week. Butthole clip. Yeah, besides that, like I said, we're off on vacation. Normally this week we go up to New Hampshire and disappoint our kids with a little B-movie. Lesser yeah. Disney World D- stuff. Yep, that's yeah. right. <laughs> Parks. But we couldn't even do that, Like, so, which <laughs> yeah. is kind of a bummer. But It's a shame. You really enjoy Disney World. Yeah. <laughs> Mediocre adventure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jester's Dominion. It's the butthole clit of Disney World. Yeah. <laughs> hey, kids, welcome to Divorceville. Yeah. <laughs> I can't buy you anything, but your mom can. Yeah. <laughs> At this amusement park, I like the 90 closest spots to the gate, all single dad parking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no pregnant parking anywhere. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's all motorcycle spaces. Rayanne shows up like, we haven't seen a mom in like yeah, a yeah. fortnight. <laughs> Mom's getting free. It's never happened. <laughs> Complete families get a discount. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All the hotel rooms nearby don't have beds, just recliners. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the story at Storyland? Remember when mom was home? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Christmas, tower of Christmas Village is like that, too. I know you didn't get to spend Christmas with daddy. <laughs> so. It's so, called Two so Christmases yeah, yeah. Village. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here we are. Oh, shit. Christmas Eve in a small apartment village. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas Eve with a three foot store bought tree. <laughs> <laughs> the hotels have just couches. <laughs> <laughs> the couch and a sleeping bag. Like, <laughs> the, the park restaurant's just a Denny's. <laughs> and instead of trash cans every 10 feet, there's just tissues yeah. for the inevitable tears. <laughs> oh, shit. We've gotten more mileage out of Dave's bad parenting. Yeah. <laughs> what did Dave do before this vacation planning? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the travel agency? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to go far at all. 
<laughs> Dave's got a brand new opportunity full, booking yeah. cruises. <laughs> Are you not allowed to leave the States? I got the place for you. you. Full tank of gas deals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can get there and back. <laughs> <laughs> you get the home by six discount. Yeah. <laughs> if you arrive at noon and get tired by two, yeah. <laughs> you've had enough by two. The theme parks only open on Wednesdays from four to eight. Yeah. <laughs> Can't be that. That's bowling night. <laughs> Every other weekend. That's right. they're <laughs> Open 26 weekends a year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They don't uh, sell T-shirts, just flat brim caps and saggy <laughs> jeans. <laughs> oh shit! Is it the guess your weight fucking thing? They get a guy. Guess what your Chinese tattoo says. <laughs> <laughs> Did your did your divorce proceedings begin with yo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can enter a raffle to win a free yeah. night at the grandma and grandpa suite at the, the yeah. park. <laughs> Cinderella's castle is just the best western right in the middle of the park. <laughs> the bumper car is just a bunch of convertibles. Yeah. <laughs> 93 Mustang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes. Who got the 89 Oldsmobile Cutlass in, yeah. the, in the, the fucking split? <laughs> yeah, the, the, they have a fortune teller. You drive a Monte Carlo, and you drive a Monte Carlo. And yeah. you drive- <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. I fucking it's, love it. The park is right next to a strip club called Girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> New mommies. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to be in so much trouble. (sighs) Fantasylander's new mommy trying. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Let's pretend these ones are fives. They have the flying Dumbo ride, but it's just like laser, like images of your actual dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This has been yeah. the best roundup we've ever done. We yeah. should just cap it, huh? I never thought I'd miss butthole clip. I honestly, normally, I would go on with this for the rest of the night because this has been hilarious, but we have a duty. We actually have yeah. a journalistic duty tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we do. Uh, I decided think, to do some some research for the general public. Yeah, and Craig, since uh, you were the one guy who really didn't care <laughs> about this, I want you to jump on this. <laughs> it's about candy, so who else do we ask? Right, exactly. Willy Wonka would take number two in line behind you. Now, we all know that the best candy is made by Brock's, right? <sighs> Brock's, isn't it? Brock's. What is it? Bratches. No, I'm pretty sure it's Brock's, but it's, it's, Brock's. it's such a harsh name. It is. Brock's. But the official make... candy of storyline. Like, That's yeah. the sound you make when you try to eat one. When you Brock. try to eat one. Brock. But they typically make candy corn. Yes. And that's what we have circus here today. Peanuts. And circus peanuts. They make peanuts. circus peanuts? It, oh, that's foul. Those are gross. D- yeah, that's fucking gross. But um That's the that's the second worst peanut ever made. We found we found a new candy corn that yeah. it's it was it was exclusive to Walgreens. A Walgreens yeah. exclusive. <laughs> it's a Walgreens exclusive. So if you're not familiar, Walgreens is one of those places that will typically sell like the the made for TV type yeah things. There it's it's a pharmacy yeah type store. Um, it's like the. Like CVS or a C- Rite Aid it's type like, place. Yeah, it's like... Um, Considering most of our listeners live within 15 miles of here, I'm pretty sure we don't need to explain yeah, Walgreens. But true. they had an exclusive um, candy corn. Apparently they had shelf space to fill. It, <laughs> and it's called Turkey Dinner. Oh. And I don't know, they obviously put them out very early for Thanksgiving. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> they weren't fucking around. Well, they- what they're doing up here is called market testing. They're releasing oh. it during, like, ball-sticking heat. 
Yeah. Because they're testing it, and if this is a hit, I'm sure they'll go national with this. I'm pretty sure this is just our region, but I got to tell you, this has been big news all over the internet. The, has it really? Oh, yeah. This this is like the, <laughs> the reviews are piling up, but nobody could do a review quite like the candy connoisseurs sitting in front of me. <laughs> yeah. Now, I've never been happier to be a diabetic. Because I I wasn't going to eat it, but then I decided to read the um, the nutrition yes. facts. Oh, yeah. And as it turns out, this is well within my <laughs> daily carb ratio. Which, which was great because he read it in front of his wife and right away she said, you could eat all of them. Yes. And, and I was like, yes. yes. <laughs> and he was like, he probably had that, you motherfucker. I, <laughs> made a, I honestly made a good offer. I said, you guys test them all. There's six flavors. And I'll go through them in a minute. But of the six flavors, I was going to let you guys pick the absolute worst one, and that would be the one I and ate. And that was the one you... Yeah. I was trying to take one for the team. I don't want to spike my blood sugar just to do a segment. Yeah, no. Color me crazy. No, I mean, I'm willing to do it, but... <laughs> the, the, I'm, I'm, willing for, I'm willing to spike your blood sugar. Yeah, that's show. exactly. I, I well, as mind. it turns out, a serving size is 15 pieces, so I can actually do like two and a half rounds of like fucking servings. Yeah, so you, don't, you can try one I, of each. Uh, see, here's what I was thinking. We do one of each, and yeah. then we do one of all of them together. Oh, like Ooh, the, like, like a dinner. Like, no. you, like you're taking a big old... That's spoon. what I was thinking. Like, we try one of each flavor that we think. So, Craig and I spend about 10 minutes before the show separating them out based on Colors. color coding. One looks like rotted so, teeth. Yeah, one yeah. looks like Walmart teeth. So, we're going to take them <laughs> as they are. And then I think the goal is to the end to get like the Violet Beauregard mm-hmm. Willy Wonka experience where she puts it all in her mouth and chews. Mm-hmm. And like hopefully if the Brock's people are doing us a solid, it's going to play out like a Thanksgiving dinner you'd eat in order. Oh. Yeah. Where she's all excited. Like, oh, here comes the, the, the this and that the strawberry. Yeah. yeah. Dave, yep. if you would, because you have the best voice of the three of us, please oh. read the six flavors. So the turkey dinner candy corn includes green beans. Roasted turkey, cranberry sauce, ginger glazed carrot, sweet potato pie, and stuffing, which are both naturally and artificially flavored. Yes. I love that they led with green beans on the branding. It's like the advertising guy's like, fuck it, they ain't gonna buy this shit anyway. <laughs> you, know what, you know what's awful is, is for the last 45 minutes, I've been having to fight my hand from just naturally going to this grabbing and one. Grabbing yeah, one. Me too. And when you handed me the bag, as I put it down, I wanted to stick my hand in the bag and grab and one. See, one. people got a love hate relationship with candy corn. I love candy corn. And Do I you like really? the, I like the Indian corn even better. My, my oldest yeah. daughter loves candy corn. Same really? thing on Halloween. I'm sorry, like, Native American First Nation corn. Yes. Yep. It's ma- maize candy. Yes. It doesn't quite have the same ring. Yeah. <laughs> but I glaze maize. Oh. Whoa. Oh, we're on. Whoa. Nice. There Copyright. we go. So look at that. That's it. Copyright 2020. Needless to say, podcast. But, but I, I, I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. Let's try this shit, man. But yeah, we, we're going to go through <laughs> around this plate that we All have. All right. So hey, just, we, put on, we can't it, follow it, let's go clockwise. Your, your lovely wife put on a football plate, so she, she kept with the festive theme of Thanksgiving. It, I mean, the Detroit Lions, you could practically <clears throat> hear them. Yeah. Right. So we're going to start with the green beans? Yeah. Yeah, let's right. do that. Okay. So you want to send one over to Brad? Yeah, yeah, just give me one. Don't move the plate. Just, Don't move okay, the plate. Yeah, yeah. just hand me one. <laughs> yeah. At this point, we've already passed on the germs. Yeah, exactly. I, I, what am I worried about? The flavor of your hand ruining this experience? <laughs> the first candy I have eaten in two and a half years <laughs> is yeah, going to be, be this bean. shit. <laughs> green bean flavor. All right, All right, so we're going into the green bean we let's think see. is a green bean. Yeah. Okay. All right, ready? You know when you do like like julienne green beans and you put all like the almonds and the vinegar and all that shit oh, in there. Yeah, when you swallow it. Yeah. Yeah, as I'm chewing it, I was like the the texture initially just it's a candy corn, but Yeah. No, that as tastes I was like the water the, that builds up in the ramekin. Yeah. It it tastes like what you smell when you heat green beans in the microwave. Yes. That's what it tastes like. Yes. Wow, there you go. That's, That's what it is. Yeah. It Holy tastes like sh- hot green bean juice from the microwave. It By actually the way, eat better. Oh it, yeah. It it actually um <laughs> At first, when I first threw it in my mouth, just because a little bit of the sweetness, I was like, it doesn't taste like green beans at all. But, I had the same thought. But as I started to go through it, um, it it's not as bad as I had expected. It's not as bad as I expected because it was a little sweet. It has a hint of green bean. Now, granted, we just threw, we had one. Yeah. I want to hammer like six of those at once and see what happens. But I, well, yeah. well, just leave enough for the finale. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We so, do have a, more of them in the back. <laughs> So what are we moving? What are we I, moving I on? I said we're going to the. We're the, going clockwise, so I think we go to that thing. So, All right, so this we're going we to think the one that's the, mostly the yellow orange. color. This is like a like a like a solid yellow. I'm going to say this is the. Um, Why don't? 
you you think it's the carrots or the I sweet potatoes? Carrots. I gotta go with the glazed uh, ginger glazed, glazed carrots. Ginger. We'll know right if away. If it's ginger, yeah. we should know. Yeah. All right. Let's let's see what these. Let's do are. this. All right. Oh no doubt. Mm-hmm. That's exactly this is a ginger is. glazed carrot. It actually tastes like a carrot. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's pretty fucking authentic. That and it's actually not that bad. No, it's terrible. It actually has almost a root like like a ginger ale. Right when it you tastes like popping. sweet dirt. It tastes like store brand ginger ale that's been sitting on the table at your you know towards the end of the backyard picnic. Yeah, it, it's almost it's like. Like people are leaving. It's almost like <laughs> <laughs> it's been in the sun all day. For some reason, to it's me, like, it's, it's like, like ginger that, ale. It's like that can of orange soda that's been in the cooler all afternoon. Right, but even not in the cooler. The one that you put in the bowl and the water's long since gone tepid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's one soda left, and that one family refuses to leave because the kids are best friends, and you don't want to break it up. Right. That is fucking nauseating. Oh, I actually yeah. didn't mind that it one. It tastes like a carrot, which is not what I want from Brock's. Well, I'm just excited. I just want to get to the cranberry, which is at the end, and I'm excited about that. So I let's... totally know you did that. I'm. Per- I think this one's the turkey. You think this one's? The I turkey? think Brad's right. I think we're getting to the turkey. <laughs> okay. This is the rotten tooth. Yeah, I wish they had like an Italian Thanksgiving because there'd be like nine other colors, oh, and it's like most of them manicotti. All right, so we're going with the one that looks like a rotting. This is supposed to be tooth. turkey. All right. Oh my! Oh my, oh my god. god! That's fucking terrible. It's definitely the turkey. Uh huh. Holy shit! That is fucking disgusting. <laughs> My wife just took all the beers and is planning on filing a divorce. This oh is my, oh, this is it, supposed to be cooked turkey. The worst part is <laughs> this is raw wild. At the turkey. end, it, right? t- it tastes like it's gamey. It, it's game. It tastes like the turkey skin that's been soaking in the water. <laughs> Yeah. Under the turkey. Oh my god, I clipped out of it. Yeah, yeah. It's like the oh. that was a fucking it's, disgusting. It's, it's it's burnt. It's not roasted, yeah, it's that, burnt. That wasn't they didn't cook the turkey Is good. Is there anything worse than burnt skin that gets soggy? Right. Mm-hmm. That's a horrible comment. That That's, was fucking gross. <laughs> that was yeah, it's charred oh. Oh, turkey. I have to say, fuck you. Oh, oh Brock. That's fucking gross. That right, so I would rather eat a turkey scratch and sniff sticker. Than yeah. what we just so we're, ingested. We're halfway now, through our dinner now. now Can somebody been, get me like a fucking Snickers bar as a pellet cleanser oh, since I've I'm been doing to- this? I, like the other ones were tolerable. That one was rough. That was fucking disgust from the first oh. bite. So, so what do we have left then? We've we've got, got, we know what the cranberry is. We've got, we've got the, now sweet potato sweet pie. Sweet potatoes and stuffing. And stuffing. stuffing and cranberry. I'm, I think this next one is the sweet potatoes. You think it's that's brighter. the sweet potato pie? I think the stuffing is more that <laughs> muted brownish. And color. there was less... Of those, which I assumed was because it's dessert, so they didn't want to make you over. All right. Fill. <laughs> so I think we got, this is this is the sweet potato. We think this is the sweet potato. All right, I hate sweet potatoes. Ready? Yeah. Me too. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a sweet potato pie. It's actually not that bad. It's not that. Far they off. could sell a bag of these <laughs> called sweet potato pie candy corn. Yeah, and they'd sell a bunch of them. At they'd sell a shitload because you know what? It's, it's already it's a little perfumey. Yeah, but. It does taste... Tastes like sweet potato pie. Or at least actually, with the whipped cream. It tastes like the whipped cream with the sweet potato yeah, pie. Yeah. Actually, yeah. not like the like the aftertaste right. is pretty fucking spot on. Considering the time of year this would normally come out, yeah, this isn't a bad flavor. I think you bag that up. No, call that's... Call it a night. That one's not bad. That's not bad. Call it a night. That's the, well, that, that's dessert almost. That's dessert, yeah. And, and so, no more which, brainstorming sessions at fucking happy hour, Brock's. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're now we're left with stuffing and cranberries, right? Yes, and we're going to end with cranberries because right, so let's, let's I'm not get doing the rest the of the stuffing. show. Yeah. Well, so we now, remember, we got to do the full so meal. See, now I like stuffing. I have I have a lot of... This is going to hurt me. Stuffing is one of my favorites. This I would, is going to hurt just, me. Really? I will, I'll put on fucking like gym shorts to eat stuffing on things. The best really? part about I, this, it's a sugar that's designed to be like a carb. This yeah, is like a like, double dip on like, me. We're, <laughs> we're trying to make a starch out of something that's now, not this, a starch. This is, um, I'm not a, hu- not a huge, overly huge fan of stuffing. But oh my it. God, it tastes like gravy. Oh. Yeah, it does. Holy shit. Oh, it, tastes like gra- it tastes like, oh. like a bouillon cube in water. Oh, yeah, Holy it does. Shit, it yeah, does. It does. It tastes like you put like a like a turkey bouillon cube. It's just gravy. This is like what Waffle House throws out. Oh my god! Yeah, it's it's oh. like a bad gravy. It tastes like roast beef gravy. Oh, wait till the after. Like really get through it. It hits the back of your tongue. 
Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to have this with the turkey. Actually, oh. yeah, it might make the turkey better. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited for next week to talk about what my shit looked like after this. Yeah. I, I can't wait for oh. next week when you need a new You host. might be able to talk about that Tonight. in 20 minutes. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's just, it's. That's rough. That's gravy. But it's it not was, stuffing. But it di- it, it immediately it was gravy. Oh. Uh. No, I haven't. I haven't had a drink yet. I've been trying to just savor this. Well, I've been trying to like. I, I had to do my palate in between. Oh, after oh the, the turkey, turkey was yeah, fucking gross. All right. All right, let's try this cranberry okay. sauce. Okay, cranberry, cranberry sauce. Now. This is going to be like a fucking blessing. I'm it's either going to be excited. like super bitter or yeah. Tastes like a bad skittle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's actually not bad. It's not bad, but it's not good. Um, you that, don't. That tastes like candy. Like if you said, "Oh, here's some um, like cranberry flavored it tastes like fucking candy," candies. grandparents would give you. It's, yeah, actually, it, it tastes, tastes like a Werther's. You know when you buy those prepackaged like Easter baskets and they come with the candy that you don't actually recognize? Yeah, it tastes like one of those. It doesn't taste like a really good confectioner. Yeah, kind of thing. It's second rate at the best, but it's still the second best thing we ate tonight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. So now we have to have the full dinner. The oh, full dinner. Christ on a cr- <laughs> I don't even eat real Thanksgiving dinner like this. <laughs> I separate my go. plate There's like I'm in the military. Giant dinner, Brad. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Brad, how'd your heart stop? Well, my last candy. <laughs> yeah. It was Brock's. All right, so okay. now, now we have we have the green beans. We have the uh, roasted turkey. The ginger glazed carrots. The roasted yeah. turkey. Sweet the potato, sweet potato pie. pie the gravy, no, the stuffing, stuffing, and the cranberry. We probably should have saved the sweet potato pie for after eating uh, all no, of it. It doesn't. Matter. Oh yeah, but because that's what is wrong with it. That's probably what's uh, wrong with the that. order that we're eating. It is the, what's wrong with this. Okay, process. This no, is, what's I'm, wrong with this is that for the rest of the night, since the plate's over here, Craig and I are going to keep picking at this <laughs> plate. <laughs> like I know it's going to happen, and every time the we're going to going to be the only one I'm, left. <laughs> I'm going to get mad that I ate it, but happy that I had something to eat. Yeah. I can't wait. Like in the Midwest right now, Brox is releasing like honey glazed ham for Easter. Right. Yeah. This is fucking awful, but you know, look out teeth, look out gums, you look out stomach here. It comes. Yeah. Here Let's we go. Do All it. right, we ready? ready? Oh, God. <laughs> that turkey fights like no. a motherfucker. Yeah, it does. That fucking gaming, like, <laughs> oh, my God. Fucking highway median turkey. Ugh. Oh my, oh god. my god! I feel like I'm eating feet, <laughs> <laughs> like feet from people that work at Walgreens, uh, people that hunt turkeys on the median uh, strip of a highway. Uh, oh my god, the turkey! <laughs> it, it wins. It beats all the other. I think it might not have been so bad <gasps> if the turkey wasn't in there. <gasps> no, this is a terrible combination of flavors. Oh, oh my god. god, that was fucking awful. Brock's- the fuck is wrong with them? What? Actually, let's call them out. Because I don't want their sponsorship. <laughs> this one goes, oh. it's a product of Mexico. No. Nothing says American Thanksgiving like I Mexico. I would rather eat this this bowl of poked out butts <laughs> next to the plate. Oh, wait. Yeah, we're going to take an Instagram moment. We'll be right back. Yeah. Oh, this is, oh, yeah. Uh, God damn, this is awful. That was, it. when I first threw it in my mouth, I was like, hey, wait a minute. This ain't so bad. And then that turkey kicked in. Things could be worse. Why yeah. is this the first candy I've had in three fucking years? Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. You, you got fucking problems. You're horrible people. Oh God. Oh, I can't. There's not enough beer in my fucking cooler no. right now. You need Jack. Yeah. Whew. Holy crap! All right, so that was fucking horrible. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh God! All of it together. Yep. So now, if, if you took this and ate it just out of the bag and you're just grabbing it free random, and no one eats one candy corn at a time, you're going to get some awful combinations. Yeah. I After that full turkey dinner from Brock's, I'm not willing to go through all the possible two or three combinations. This is a terrible idea, and you should all be ashamed of yourselves. Fire your marketing guy. Yeah. If you find him on the edge of a bridge, uh, let him go. Yeah. yeah. Let him go. Sometimes it's not worth it. There was, I mean, don't get me wrong. The uh, the carrots one was on its standalone was okay. I can't believe I'm going to say the sweet potato pie. The sweet made potato the pie, most sense. The, yeah, the sweet potato pie was good. 
And the cranberry was good. Nah, I wouldn't buy that. No, I, I wouldn't. I, I think I mean, if you sold a bag of that sweet potato pie, it would sell big. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think candy corn lends itself to that. Yep. As much as I remember it. I used to like Indian corn, which had the chocolate in it. Yep. That, that flavoring. That, to me, was very reminiscent of this. This just had a little more whipped cream on it. But overall, that would make a very festive thing. Kids would stick them on cupcakes and bring them to school with masks on. It would be really great. You put put that turkey on a cupcake and make your fucking whole. I gotta have another one. I gotta have another one. Oh, they fucking. So- oh, oh, I feel like I'm eating a match. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking gross. The it remi- it does remind me of something. It's not turkey. Yeah, shit. Yeah. Uh, I would love if like Anthony Bourdain's. I can't scrape this off the, my teeth no. fast enough. Nah, I think you should I'm, that's start I, smoking. Yeah, that's why I lit up a butt. Normally, I enjoy a butt after dinner. I'm smoking this one because I have to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're all I'm drinking trying to and burn. smoking to forget. I'm trying to burn my taste buds. <laughs> I might actually smoke a butt tonight just because. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to lick the bottom of my decrepit car. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> as a palate cleanser. But yeah, I would I would take Anthony Bourdain's like Nepal eyeball soup, <coughs> candy corn over this horse shit. Yep. <sighs> fuck Brock's. God. Uh, fuck them. They're assholes. They make shit candy. Yeah. I think they may have just sealed it. This is, I'm serious. The guy's suicidal. This was his final note to the world. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they're just gonna move up in holidays? Like they had. They, no, it's they funny. Had the, it? the the quote unquote not wanted candy market for Halloween. Maybe he's just in his office laughing right now, and when they come in to say it's not going well, he's like, "I know, fucking quit, <laughs> bitches, I'm out." And that's right. <laughs> and he puts a gun in his mouth. It's, it's just <laughs> been a long. He's just been playing the long game. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you idiots made that. You, <laughs> we just ordered forty thousand bags of wassail yeah. flavored. <laughs> <laughs> I cashed in my shares three months ago. Yeah, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> the Dow is dropping because of Brock. <laughs> next next month is mistletoe candy corn. <laughs> <laughs> you feed it to your cats, kills them immediately. <laughs> it tastes like your aunt's lipstick. He's just fucking popping those fucking vanilla wafers into his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> These things are delicious. Oh, God, fucking this is- chalk cardboard fucking candies. <laughs> fucking poinsettia flavor. Oh, now, if fuck. they really wanted it to be Thanksgiving dinner, they should have put a whiskey flavored candy corn in there. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you uh, know, I'm not a huge fan of Thanksgiving to begin with. Thanks for giving me another one. Yeah. <laughs> now I get a bit of a head rush. First candy I've had in fucking forever. Right. right? Fucking shit. Should have just ate a baby Snickers bar and that and just been done with it. The worst part mm. is I still have the urge just to reach over and grab another one. Oh, that plate will be because it's right there. I'm gonna eat the fucking the I'm gonna eat the rest of the cranberry ones before the night's <laughs> over. <laughs> That's gonna happen. So if you're sitting at home, you're wondering, hey, these guys are leading off with a product review of something they knew was gonna be bad. What's going on in the world of needless to say? And the answer to that is absolutely fucking yeah. nothing. Last week we had like a bevy of great headlines, and whether or not we did good by them, well, that's up to you. Yeah. But what we did have was variety. We had choice. We actually turned things down. The headlines that came in this week was like reading like the bottom third of CNN.com before you got to the advertising. Yeah. It was like what and Craig was, described Facebook, Facebook to be. Yeah, it was, it was Facebook. It was exactly like it being was. told that you're wrong on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. That was this week's uh, headline. So we said, no, nah, you know what? Let's try something different. And by something different, I mean something we've done seven other times. Something familiar, but something, it's not yeah. frequent. That's it. That's and it. so we're going to the Skull of the Night for the second time since we've been back in Studio B. Uh, Dave, take those things and away from me. Yeah. To any new listeners, the Skull is, we, we got a skull on the table. It's hollow. You can pull the top off of it. So it's like going. It's, it's like, like uh, having two Craigs. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say we actually have four of those. <laughs> but uh, it is uh, basically like pulling topics out of a hat, pulling questions out of a hat. Yeah, scenes from a hat, folks. Scenes from a hat, exactly. And, and just so you guys know, I'm, I'm not sure you were aware, but I actually reached out to some of our friends of the show to get some them to give me some topics to talk about tonight. Who'd you really? Get? Who'd you get? So there's there's a good chance we get we end up now. Full disclosure, we have topics that are left over from the last time we did this, I think about three months ago. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I reached out to some of our friends of the show. Uh, I reached out to Joey B., to Wayne, to Christy, our friend Matt down in Texas, 
Um, my buddy Kevin in Connecticut, one of my friends, my new friend, my new old friend Matt down in, in Puerto Rico. Yep. Um, so we got some some topics from these folks well, that I've thrown into the skull. Let's let's uh, oh oh they're in there they're in there they're so, in there randomly so, yeah they, I, so I, they could come up this time they or could maybe come next up time or hang out that's right okay well, well Dave since you did all this legwork and to... provided the candy corn tonight it's only right <laughs> that you pick <laughs> it's a fucking awful mess did we oh did we God. did we mix this up in here uh, I, you, I did but you can do it some more all I'm right. smelling sounds right now you smelling <laughs> sounds oh all right so this first one. <laughs> <laughs> this is from my, my buddy Kevin in, in Connecticut. <clears throat> he actually provided us with a headline, believe it or not. Oh, and okay. It was something that he saw uh, <laughs> just this week. I will give you guys the, uh, the headline title as I pull it up on my phone. I don't think I'll have to read the headline because the, head- <laughs> the, the, ty- the story. So here it is. Nude man seen chasing down wild boar after it stole his laptop while he was sunbathing. I saw See, this I one. I did, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. It was it, this was in uh, Germany. It was in Berlin. That's yeah. right. Yeah, it was in yep. Berlin. <laughs> I seen this one. And the best, what I loved more than anything is there's like, like still photos of him. <laughs> like, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, oh, like in full stride, chasing this fucking yeah. thing. This boy carrying his fucking laptop. He's not a svelte man. No, he no, looks no. like a garden gnome without the clothes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't sure who was chasing who at one yeah. point. But the best was, the woman approached him and said, "I took these pictures. Do you mind if I share them on social media?" And he started. La- he looked at the pictures and he was laughing. And he sa- and he gave it. He's like, "Go ahead." Yeah, she edited them so it wasn't like just like yeah, so, dog, you know, just flapping. Vienna Schnitzel yeah. flapping around and shit like that. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. But can you go back into the story? I'm into the story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, tell me exactly how this played out. Then why is he naked? <laughs> Apparently, it's uh, it's fine down there. If you're sunbathing, you can take your clothes off. He, you know, well, the, tell me where he was. It doesn't even say where he was. So, no, just so Berlin. Berliners love Berlin. to bathe in the sun and lake like we are born. Uh, where, where many people uh, laying on the towels completely naked shared that many of the lake goers were scared. Where, of the on the island. street? In no, a park? No, they're at a, yeah. at a lake in Berlin. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're at a lake in Berlin and the, people just like to... <laughs> at the bus stop. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just laying on concrete rubble. What you yeah. see a wall... <laughs> You know what? We've never been downloaded in Germany, so fucking Krauts. I have no idea what they fucking do. How the hell am I supposed to know what their social practices are? We sunbathe on the concrete. <laughs> Show me your papers. Yes. <laughs> Hold on, I can't find them. We, we flex sun onto backside. Yeah. Yeah. We have ways of making you run there. Yeah. No ticket. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, so I, the picture's amazing. Like this guy, like he's it's, an older guy. Yeah, he's built like you would expect, like your drunk uncle to look like. Yeah, he, yeah, he's he, the guy's like in his late fifties, early sixties. Yeah, and uh, kind of hefty. No, the best part is this. This next photo, <laughs> I'll show you guys. Like, he's chasing this boar. <laughs> now the the wild boar has little boarlets with it, little baby boar. Yeah. And it's not just him, like in this. There's other families standing up, hanging out, like, "Hey, look at the naked guy chasing the boar." Yeah, everybody's just casual about it, right? Yeah, he and the boar literally has his laptop. It's hooked. in a bag. It's on a bag. It's hooked on its tusk. Yeah, it can't put it down, so it can't drop it. And the, and the guy is this naked dude is chasing it, and the thing's just running. <laughs> wait, wait. Like, Look at these people in the background watching. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> German tits hanging out. They don't give a shit. Hey, they're not bored. No. Boom. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> Listen, I've had a whole week of like dad jokes yeah. with my kids. I don't need one from you. God damn, son. <laughs> I just had to put a fucking kibosh on that one. Oh. <laughs> but this is this a German story. I thought you'd be into this more. Uh, <laughs> I'm more concerned that this wild boar in Germany. Yeah, I had no idea. Who like, in the park, right? <laughs> and uh, with children in tow, like like blocking. 
yeah, like, yeah. He, he's breaking for the end zone and they're fucking running interference. It's not like some starving board that was desperate. It was like out with its family, like, hey, fuck your family too. Hey, we're hanging out naked in the park too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Something tells me there's like like a litany of fucking child porn on that computer and that boar was like weaponized yeah. by the police. <laughs> it's an SS boar. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, Jesus, <laughs> this is amazing. Oh There's my so God. many people just standing around watching, which is the best part. Yeah, and they're Swineheimer. all Swineheimer. <laughs> 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 it's so good. The fact that she took pictures and was like, "Hey, I took these pictures." And he's like, "Yeah, go ahead." She approached him though. That was the. That's yeah. what I thought was the best part. She approached him and said, "Look." I took pictures of you chasing this boar all over the park naked. Mind if I share them? And he's like, yeah, God. So I'd love to caption that photo. I used to do this caption contest on my Facebook page. That would have been my picture this week, and my caption would have been, dude, you got a Dell. Yeah. <laughs> right? What the best part is it, it, it said that there was a happy ending. Every one of us adored him, how focused he stayed, and when he came back with his yellow bag in hand, we all clapped and congratulated him for his success. <laughs> this happens when you're focused on your goals. <laughs> <laughs> She's turning this into a life lesson. Into a life lesson. You're focused on your goals. You get. Thanks for that. Yeah. Thanks, Kevin. Good one. Thanks, Kevin. Oh, that came from God. Connecticut? Connecticut, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Which guys is basically had a... the Berlin of the United States. I was going to say, that's where the... <laughs> <laughs> fucking rent dispute happened with the samurai sword. That's right. <laughs> Shit's all starting to make sense now, pal. Okay. Did you ever have a nickname and what would your nickname what would well, the nickname be that you selected? No, it was Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I, was I don't I don't, I don't read stupid hieroglyphics. Yeah, I was right cuz I had to write them all down fast. And I mean that. Back, like yeah. hieroglyphics did, did are stupid. Have, did you ever have a nickname as a kid? I, they were kind of I kind of did it like a cliff note type thing cuz I was trying to do them fast yeah. over here. Um, did you ever have a nickname as a child? Yes. Like or as a kid. Yeah. And if you didn't or also if you if you did if you could choose your own nickname what would it be? Oh. All right. All right. Well, I'll answer my my pick. Uh, I'm the only guy on earth who had a nickname way longer than mine. Mine was Bradley, which is actually not my actual name. Yeah. Moving on. Are you a Bradford? No, I'm just Brad. Just Brad. My mother's maiden name is. Bradley. I've asked. I've asked him is this what? before. It's Bradley. You were my mother's maiden name is Bradley. Really? So she just named me Brad. All right. And that's it. Right, it's a way to keep her but side a, of the family name. Exactly. Okay, but right. every, everybody called me Bradley, and that I guess became a nickname. The only other one I had was when I was teaching uh, the Irish girl that ran the bar. <laughs> That we hung out and called me Professor. Now that's a nickname. Yeah, right. that's a nickname. She, they call me Professor all the that, time, and it stuck a for a while. Name. It stuck for a while. Whenever I create somebody on like a WWE wrestling game, I'm the Professor. The of Professor pain. Yeah. of Pain. Of oh, Pain. Of yeah. the Pain. Oh. So actually, I so got three nicknames now. Yes. <laughs> when he's <Yeah>. on top. <laughs> now, did you? Um, when you were a kid, did you ever want a nickname though? Like, like want one and like, oh, I hope people call me like Snake. Nah. <laughs> Something. Yeah. Snake. I, you know, please I had a giant I've heard nose. I was gonna get like Aardvark. Or yeah. uh, like no, that. but yeah, would you? Would, what would you pick for yourself? Uh, Craig. <laughs> Acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Well, it's a terrible <laughs> real name. So. <laughs> That's like the sound it makes when you fall off a it's rock. It's a fucking one syllable like a caveman said it yeah. by accident. Well, <laughs> apparently your parents knew you before you yeah. were born. <laughs> it's like Dave. Yeah. Same thing. Like that one syllable like it just it, like someone made a sound. Yeah. 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 Just <laughs> <laughs> like clearing his throat. Yeah. Crack. Yeah. yeah. Th that's it. <laughs> Take it. That nickname. Dave. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about I, you? I had a nickname. Uh, it was probably end of elementary school into like middle school. It's part of my last name. Oh, fuck it. You know, at this point, whatever. Uh, so my nickname was Sloybean. <laughs> <laughs> the and vegan it, Avenger. Right, and it, it was, it was, it kind of evolved over the course of like one bus ride after school. Yep. You know, there was a bunch of us that lived in the neighborhood and we were just kind of like busting balls and like, and it was like 
soybean and all this other stuff like all plays off my name and this this one kid just landed with sloy bean like he had this epiphany and it just it stuck through high school really yeah 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 and it, it i told the story about it one day with the people i work with and now people i work with will call me that every once in a while just to bust balls but uh yeah i had it just it was a nickname that turned it and the weird part was when it wasn't just a nickname that one day when it stuck my dad heard it and he's like, how did you get that name? And I told him the story. And he said, I had that nickname when I was a kid. Really? Somehow his kid, his friends, when he was young, came to the same kind of uh, yeah. uh, evolved into him having the same nickname. So it was kind of weird and cool at the same time that yeah. we both got the same nickname without knowing what happened. But yeah, that was a nickname I had for a while. And we had I had a like a gym teacher in elementary school. They would be like, hey, "Sloy Bean, get over here and do this." So I was like, it wasn't yeah. just my friends. It was it kind of it was kind of cool. Yeah, it was cool to have a nickname. I didn't get to pick it. I don't know if I have one that I'd pick because I got one that I wasn't. It was part of my name, and it was it was kind of stupid. But yeah, my football whatever. coach once tried to call me Satchel Face, <laughs> <laughs> and it never stuck. But to this day, <laughs> I'm like, where did that come from? I wasn't droopy. <laughs> I didn't look leathery. He, he just came out of nowhere. He's like, hey, Satchel Face, come here, line up. <laughs> and that was it. And it didn't stick. But yeah. Oh, so you don't sh- look like a leather bag. That's I what I mean. I, I wasn't like a fat kid with get tan too much. I don't Satchel. understand what that was. I was skinny as hell. My skin was appropriately tight. But yeah, Satchel Face, come here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. But I, I know Craig asked this question because he's got a good answer. <laughs> Well, no. Well, I've had it's, it's funny because it, I've had like prisoner two, number like, six five three. Technically, like two, but two because of my last name. My like my father's nickname. Everybody called him Dip. Okay. All right. Right. Yep. And <laughs> but you weren't yours. <laughs> and, and and then yeah. <laughs> right. But then so growing up, I was Little Dipper. Okay, all right. And a lot of people, like all my father's friends, a lot of people called me that little dipper f- forever. Because you were a dim star. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, as I got older, um, there's still one person. Rob will still Rob will He'll call me call dip. You? Really? Yeah. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Rob will still call me dip once in a while. Once in a great while, he'll say it. All right. You know? um, so that stuck around. But when I got to be about 14 years old, and like some of my other friends in the neighborhood, like that we lived in, started getting cars and stuff, and and everybody was trying to get their muscle cars and stuff. Yeah. And the big thing was Kreger rims. They they're called Kreger rims. All right. And they're just like those old chrome rims, like the mag tires, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that was the big like brand was okay. was Kreger rim. And people started they used to call me Kreger rim. Then it, then it turned into Kreger rim. It was just weird. There's they still get lazy one, with it. There's still one person that calls me that. Really? To this day, which is Steve Saws, oh. will call me that to this day. <laughs> Anytime I see him, he still calls me that. That's crazy. So it's just it's when you threw a party, up. was it a raging Kreger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a Kreger. That would be better yeah. than Kreger rim. No, it was Kreger rim. It was stupid. Because it then when stupid. you put them on the car, that was a Kreger rim job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was stu- that one was stupid. Like I, yeah, but like, eating I ass wasn't cool back then. Yeah, it was, right. It was always cool. Yeah. It was, <laughs> just wasn't popular. Wasn't, all right, <laughs> popular. That's, all right yeah. that's that's an important clarification. Yeah. You're right. Ladies, I take use note. Syrup, syrup or jelly. <laughs> We're talking two different yeah. things here. <laughs> two very different conversations. Not, not if you're doing it right. No. <laughs> <laughs> if you're sucking the dick, you can pretend it's something else. But if you're eating ass, you know you're eating ass. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but we're talking about eating ass by choice. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was from that HBO special. I know what it was from. That's from the Chris Rock special. Yeah. Yes, I know. Actually picked one of mine, and this is one I whipped up just at the end. And I think this one's a little more relevant to what's going on in the world. If Kamala Harris was white, two hundred eighty pounds, drunk, and mildly retarded, would Facebook Republicans be more accepting? Well, yeah, she'd be working at Walmart. Oh, I was just going to say, didn't he just die last week? (laughs) (laughs) White, two hundred eighty pounds, drunk. He painted his face white. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking appropriation, that motherfucker. 
<laughs> way to appropriate the way white people see black people yeah. in Africa. <laughs> he appropriated my racism. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's exactly That's what he exactly did. Exactly what happened. I feel like we used that uh, show title a week <laughs> too soon. But the question again: If Kamala Harris was white, two hundred eighty pounds, drunk, and mildly retarded, in short, if she was a lot more like the people who don't like her, but she still was on the Biden ticket. Would Facebook Republicans, and notice I'm not saying real Republicans, I'm talking Facebook keyboard yeah. warriors. Yeah. Would they be more accepting? Yes. Yep. Tell me why. Because they match exactly what they want. <laughs> they have nothing to pick on. Yeah. They don't know who she is. They don't know anything about except what they see. Yep. And what they would see would be like a reflection in a mirror. So they'd have nothing to pick on. Yeah. They could theoretically judge the name of the driver on the front of their white t-shirt because they all have NASCAR shirts, right? That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Like these, these are people that they don't know anything about politics. They just know what they see. Yeah. And they lash out and they talk about this is ridiculous and that and they wouldn't know the difference. Well, I watched again on Facebook, I watched somebody post a picture and say, look, she's claiming she's African American. This is her father and this is her mother. And it's a picture of her with a you know, with a a guy on one side and, and a woman on the other, and she's posing with them. And she's like, "This is her parents. He's not black, you know, and she's not um whatever, you know, this and that." And people are responding. It's all the fucking you know bullshit. Look at this. This is ridiculous. He's not a black guy. That you know this and that. And it turns out, it's like, no, he's not a black guy. He's a professor from MIT, and she's fucking someone else that she was giving an award to. It's not her parents. Yeah. But because someone put it on Facebook and said, look at her parents, everyone else believed it. Yes. And they jumped all over it. Yeah. And that's the problem with fucking everything. Well, that's... (laughs) Yes. That's one of them. Which is why we want to watch the world burn. With Yes. That's why I was I've, like, I've never felt more in tune to Maynard singing about wanting to watch the world. Just wash I'm away. like, fuck it. At this point, whatever. I'll get a lawn like, chair and sunglasses and watch this fucker yeah. burn. Yeah. You know what's, you know that's what's that's funny? What, that's what this, I said. I said, I'll crack over the beer and just watch the comet. Just smash. It's, it's funny. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like this this cool. week, for some reason, it came up. We we're, we we're up in the backyard, which I know I had the kids had oxygen masks. You fuckers before you up say it. in the backyard. Yeah. You, yeah. You I said, said that like that's a thing. Yeah, it is. Out. It is I actually life. thought about it the other day because when Dave was busting the, my balls about my pool, I'm like, you know, we could bring it, probably build a pretty kick-ass water slide yeah. at your fucking house. <laughs> slide right into the tub. Right into the fucking backyard. Yeah. Like, right into the back of your house. Fucking. <laughs> but you what? turn your fucking bulkhead into a ramp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Half pipe. <laughs> It slide right into South Sea Conk. Yeah, <laughs> just watch your kid who was here last week. Like watch him getting air over the. Look like Chevy here. Chase on that fucking yeah. snowboard. And the- <laughs> later, dudes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> later, dude. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. but for some reason, it came up and like Matt, my, Matthew, my son's like, Dad, what would happen if there was a tidal wave? I'm like, we'd probably be okay. He's like, but the water's right there. So we did some research. It turns out our house is about 85 feet above sea level. Yeah. And I'm like, if we go to the back, honestly, it's like 80 feet in the front yard. If we go up to the back, it's like 94. Yeah. Right? It'd have to be a pretty significant. And I said to him, like, if we get a tidal wave, we've got beachfront property. No, We're good. You, you know, know like, no, it's we funny. can watch everything drown. I'm happy as, with that. As a kid, I fucking panicked about tidal waves more than anything in the world. Why not? As a when kid. When you live on the water, sure. I was like, what do you mean? Like, tidal wave? Like, oh, my God. Like, you know, like, I don't want to fucking deal with that like you see him in a movie and you're like holy shit <laughs> but as a kid you're thinking like a, a 70 foot just like wave crashing and then crashing, it goes back yeah, not just a, a wall of water wall. moving across yeah, yeah exactly. which is more, more I'm terrifying. worried about quicksand which is like, more the, term. like the memes talked about I thought quicksand was <laughs> yeah. going to be a major <laughs> way, problem way bigger problem yeah exactly yeah. but I would always, in the shows it always looked like oatmeal or like a bowl yeah. of like almost done Cheerios like it, it, it was like okay how is he not getting out of this yeah why am I throwing him a rope you yeah. know, at one point you can see the hefty bag. <laughs> Swim, yeah. pussy. Yeah. <laughs> but quicksand isn't wet. But I, I grew up thinking quicksand was wet. It is. It is. It's um, it's basically just sandy. Like, you can um, there's actually a cool experiment you can do if you uh, attach a hose to the bottom of a bucket. Like you, you know, you make a little pour at the bottom of a bucket. There's something cool you could probably do with the kids, and then fill the um bucket with sand to the top and then 
if it's dry, then you press your hand on it. You can't push your hand through it. Turn the water on. As soon as the water hits the top, your hand will sink right to the bottom. Because you, you displace, you give room around all the sand. There's no friction anymore. You give room around all the sand. There's, uh, there's a bunch of it's different like shit. It's like using with it. lube. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Which is a lot more in line with this show. Yeah. yeah. But thank you, Mr. Wizard. Yeah, I no, appreciate I, that. No, but, uh, <laughs> no, I was just I saying, but, it's, uh, but. Stop, stop, stop. He doesn't really want to know. He asked. That's No, he asked in sarcasm. Oh, well, fuck that. <laughs> I don't answer in sarcasm. <laughs> That's good. Let's go surfing. <laughs> I'm glad you finally embraced it and said, you know right? what? Fuck I, it. I embraced it that night. It just I wanted to no, talk about didn't. I wanted to talk about it. Oh, oh, he was so fucking mad. Yeah. Yeah. Because you guys great. did what we said we'd never do. I wasn't kidding. there for that agreement. It was awesome. <laughs> Fucking chip so while he's gone, should we have an intelligent conversation? Absolutely. Pick another yeah. one. <laughs> We're skipping him entirely. Yeah, let's see what else we got in here. Let's go deep. So deep. Let's see. <laughs> What's the best sex music and why? And uh, i got to throw a caveat. Don't give us any Barry White, Al Green bullshit. I want some out-of-the-box thinking here. This All one right. was mine. I can lead off if you want, because I've got one that won't be beat. When we were in New York, we had this direct TV channel that just played music. You know, you know like they have the yep. music choice or whatever it is. And at one point, the Neville brothers singing the Cotton <laughs> theme song. <laughs> <laughs> the look, the feel, the fabric of your lives. Come on! <laughs> I busted so many nuts to that song. <laughs> We're talking about like sex with a another like another person, not oh, just no, whacking she was there. off. Melissa will vouch for this. If she walks out here and at some point I say, "Hey, cotton song," she'll be like, "Yeah, come on, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt." The Neville Brothers would come on. It was on that like like any radio station. It was on a cycle. Yeah, and I always did like soft jams or love jams or whatever the channel was called. I figured it'd be in the background, we wouldn't pay attention. But about halfway through, I'm like in the middle of something, and I go, "Is that the cotton song?" Oh my god. <laughs> Really? See, I never, I was never one, like, oh, I need music. Let me put on some music. Yeah, no, I okay. never did that. There aren't songs short enough. No, there's songs. <laughs> <laughs> there were. Because <laughs> they were in my head, and it was always the fucking theme song to the A team. Oh, my. Bam, ba, dam, bam. Tell me you thrust it to that cadence. <laughs> Yeah, that's how you keep it mixed up. You probably yeah. blew your nut in the beginning when they shot the bullets into the logo. <laughs> <laughs> They're an elite squad. <laughs> They're an elite squad. I love you, honey. You ain't get, a, you ain't get me on no plane. <laughs> I see yell at the whole time. It's not you, it's me. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, bum, bum. I gotta pee. No, but I never like um I never did that. I'm just imagining. I don't need no towel. <laughs> the fool. Helen <laughs> Mad Murdoch. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. Yes. <laughs> At the end. Like, like, like Hannibal was smoking a cigar to celebrate Craig's success. <laughs> <laughs> you were BS bad stamina baracus. <laughs> He never got to play face. Oh shit! No. <laughs> oh, shit. Da, da, da. oh god! <laughs> All right, so we got the cotton theme and the eighteen theme. What do you got there, Dave? <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't know. Whatever I say is gonna live up to what you two idiots just talked about. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> oh my god! I've ne but I'm kind of with. With I can't believe I'm saying this. Kind of with Craig on yeah. the sex oh my music thing. God. No, like I I've never. At least mine are a yeah. real band. No, 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 no. <laughs> Look, I, listen, I will tell you that there is certain music that would, I don't, I, they would kind of, I guess, like get me in the mood or get me all jacked up. Do you know what I mean? Like it, but it's not, I've never been like, hey, baby, let me let me go over the stereo and put something like that. Yeah, not happened. Yeah. Like I'm not setting up speakers and stereos and music, but 
No, I could have fucked to the f- fucking. I could swoosh fuck your fucking commercial. I could fuck to the. To the <laughs> I could fuck to the canes of my neighbor's two cycle lawnmower. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Pop, 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 yeah. pop. Like, I can get into that. Like, as long as he hasn't cut the lawn in three weeks, we're going to have a good sesh. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's backing up and doing it again. <laughs> He's going uphill. But, um, no, I, like, for me, like, if I, if I were to make, like, a sex playlist, I would... I would start... I, I would kind of almost start at how I'd want the night to go. Like, start Nelly, off like... Nelly, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> no, I don't want to get shut down in the club. That's not yeah. how I want to work. <laughs> but I'd want to start it to kind of get like get the mood right and then finish big. But you know, like I'm thinking like uh, like nine inch nails closer. It'd be a good one with like that beat and that like grindy gritty. I would just get mad. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, <laughs> burr, yeah. Burr, burr. I'd be like, this song sucks. <laughs> My dick be all soft. I'd be angry. <laughs> like, why does everybody like this fucking band? They blow. <laughs> I'd like to watch him but try they- to keep up with Trent Reznor. So. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Head like a hole. Yeah. <laughs> but think about that song close, like boom, ps, boom, ps. Yeah, the whole song. I don't know, something like <laughs> That's that. Just like- your heart. Rate. I think you put a fucking metronome in my fucking nightstand. <laughs> <laughs> what's oh, funny is what's I just funny? got an egg timer <laughs> <laughs> See I couldn't do that Because all I'd be thinking Is like my mom just made cookies You and an egg timer Same thing Both ends up running Yeah And soft boiled And a little sad Yeah Yeah <laughs> and ultimately unfertile. Yeah. <laughs> Head like a hole. Yeah. So for those of you taking notes, we don't know want, how to fuck. Right. If you want to have sex, according to Needless to Stay, you set the mood by a underwear commercial, an yeah. 80s TV show. <laughs> <laughs> in nineties industrial metal. Yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't an underwear night. commercial. I didn't do like fruit of your womb. <laughs> no, but what did you do? I did cotton. But <laughs> <laughs> because my lo- my love making is the fabric of your life. It's <laughs> not even better. No. It's way better. <laughs> fucking I'm trying Trent. to fuck the fruit in the fucking <laughs> Neville brothers. Trent Reznor. <laughs> I mean, Aaron Neville had that weird thing on his face that looked like it was eating the rest of him. Yeah, that yeah. was his brother. That was the other Neville brother. <laughs> no, Just, Aaron had the no, big yeah, Ar- yeah, yeah. It was like right on his eye. Yay, with his <laughs> fucking high ass voice and shit. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. <laughs> his eyebrow could play with the clit while his face was down in the vag. Oh, could you imagine putting the little nubbin on there and you could actually put a phone down there and like watch the AT? He just kept raising his eyebrow to get her off. <laughs> Ooh, at Curious 25 times in a row. <laughs> Be the rock. Be the rock. Be the rock. <laughs> it's the people's giggity. <laughs> All right, I'll pick one. <laughs> We Craig, we skipped you. That's fine. Oh, this one's printed. Damn it. <laughs> Joey B. Oh, Joey B. Oh, all right. I, full disclosure, this is my favorite one. All okay, right. cool. And this is good because, you know, we're, we're trying to preview this new show we're doing, and we've done a bunch of movie shit already. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yep. So Joey B., he of Virginia Beaches, not of Virginia Hotels, said, if there was one movie you could live your life in, what movie and what would you do different to change the story of the movie? Oh. So fucking essay questions, Joe. That's a good... See, that's now, a he good, had, he like didn't that. ask what character would you be. He said, what movie, movie world would you, would you live in? Now... Before we answer, I want to say I, he sent this to me while I was at my aunt's house today with like my family and stuff. And my, I read it out loud. And my dad was like, "Indiana Jones." <laughs> <laughs> now I, I wasn't posing Nazi- this as a question. I was just reading it out loud. I want to live in Nazi Germany. <laughs> right. Well, no. He said he said specifically that scene where he just shoots the guy with the sword. He said, oh. "I want to be that." 
I yep. was like, all right, dad. Thanks for chiming in. Yeah, he just wants to be badass. He, like, fuck it. Like, don't give a fuck. Go back to reading his newspaper. That's, really? that's, honestly, <laughs> but that's what he did. He was in like a like a, like a chaise lounge chair. Yeah. And he sat up. He tipped his hat up. He said this. And he sat back down and put his hat back over his eyes and went yeah. like, back to hanging out. I was like, you said that as if you were in the scene. It yeah. was amazing. <laughs> that's fantastic. Oh, it was great. I said, I said first of all, Dad, excellent. Second That's of all, I can't wait great. to tell Craig because he's gonna be like, "Yes, yes, <laughs> <laughs> exactly." No, I'm like, I know exactly what he's talking about. <laughs> what would he do different? He didn't say he'd do anything different. Oh, no, he oh. just, that scene was perfect. Yeah, he wouldn't go hunting for a treasure. He'd just read his newspaper. See, yeah. That, and, yeah, right. But that's why I put it in there. If you read Joey's question, it's not which character would you be, but which world yeah, would you what, live what in? What movie could you live your life in? Yes. And what movie would it be? And what would you do different to change the story of the movie? I suppose not anything is an answer. It is. That is a legitimate no, answer. Yeah. I had the same thought. Yeah. I can't go first on this one. I got to think on this one. It's it, it's tough. Um, because I I mean, my answer is probably if you say obvious. Star Wars, it well it probably I mean, it's obvious. You'd that be the stormtrooper be... sweeping the hallways after a battle. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be you. Yeah. No, but I mean. The only blue collar stormtrooper. But but my <laughs> he's a white yeah, yeah. He's a blue helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm installing the tiles like, in the Death Star. Like even to the stormtroopers, you're a heel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like you're the you're the stormtrooper the other stormtroopers pick on. <laughs> I'm just putting the wicked shiny tiles in the floor. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> Bitching about my job. <laughs> Those secret compartments aren't going to tile themselves. Yeah. There's no air conditioning in this fucking helmet. Like, this fucking emperor, he's overcharging everybody. <laughs> fucking not paying me enough. Bunch of stormtroopers throwing all their armor off. Got a shit wicked bad. Yeah. <laughs> who needs tile in a service closet? Really, who needs tile in here? <laughs> no, to be honest with you, I would love to live in that world. For, and what part of it? Yes, thank but, you. Star Wars huge. So, well, We're talking this, about... This, that's what I was. This is what I was getting. You could at. be some like some sand jockey and 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 ta- well, Tatooine. The, my, you know what I mean? My like, thing would be I would like to be like a freighter pilot type thing. All right. Uh, because traveling, just from star system to star system to planet to planet, and just seeing everything, because it's so much. I mean. Uh, Almost in a sense, I would love to do that here on Earth, yeah, <laughs> and be able to travel the the world. Yeah. Never mind, be able to travel the galaxy, you know, and and see all these crazy things and and understand most of them. That's the other part about it too. Is be like, oh yes, that's this, you know, right? And I don't know. That's that would be my thing, Dave. Oof. See, I, I feel like I have an unfair advantage because I saw this question earlier. Jaws, but the cameraman. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, no, I've, I've tried. I, I had two kind of trains of thought with this. One was I'd want to live in some kind of historical movie so I get yep. an insight into real what's actually happened. Or there's been a bunch of movies about not knowing the real world you live in. You're just kind of in this this ignorant bliss like the matrix type thing or yeah. things like that okay. I'm like, so i kind of debated between those two things and uh before i answer i'll tell you my the rest of my family all agreed on the truman show we oh, sat out we really? sat by my aunt's yep. pool and like my aunt and and and, <clears throat> and ray and my cousins were like i think that now her first thought was jurassic park <laughs> i laughed i'm like whoa oh yeah which which character yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> which which part of that world do you want to live in? Yeah, it, literally yep. nobody on that island takes a shit See, like, no. ever like, again. Like my other but, my my other choice would have been like Lord of the Rings type thing because of but everything was shit at every, some point. But but at, but at one point living in the Shire would be the shit. You know I, what I mean? Yeah, I guess. I would rather be the hobbit in the Shire that was fucking raking the leaves before fucking Frodo <laughs> left. You know when they, you know what I mean. Like still regular like leaves by the end of the trilogy. Yeah, like, exactly. Oh, like oh, I saw some storm clouds. Oh, oh but everything's that okay. Eagle brought you back. Should have brought you there. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably would have been cool to have him pick you up and bring you there first. <laughs> brought you back in a half hour, yeah. but you were gone for two years. <laughs> I'm psyched when I make a shuttle bus. I really yeah. am. I couldn't yeah. imagine an eagle getting me everywhere I needed yeah. to go. 
But I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut. No, no, it's totally But that's like the thing, like, it would be something expansive like that. I would need that. The whole world. See, now, I I thought, I I guess a little more small scale. Like, I thought of of Stargate. But to be... Well, but that's... Going back in history and saying, like, this is how the shit actually happened. What? Oh, I wouldn't want to I be thought, living in the sand. Oh, I thought you were one, like, the guy, Chevron 2 locked in. No, <laughs> like, that's my job. Like, that was it. That's all you had to do. <laughs> no. I think, it'd be co- I think it'd be cool just to be able to go back in time 3,000 years and yeah. find out, like, oh, shit, well, this is what happened. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. That's what, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's the aspect that's I think is kind of cool. cool. Yeah. That, I mean, other than that, like, I, I think... For me, I, shit, I, you know, that's probably it, man. I'd be good with something like that. Going back and just learning about how things actually happened. Yeah, no, and oh, I'm I'm with you on that. I love that shit. We've talked about it before. Brad's yeah. like, fucking don't give a fuck about yeah. what happened. Brad just left his own garage. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brad's like, I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> Actually, that was the name of the episode is Pumba Pumkas. That's right, Pumba Pumkas. That's right. That's but right. I think I was on that one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you named it. Yeah. As usual, I go different. Um, I actually I remember being a young kid, six to eight, to even ten years old, and I remember all the movies we weren't supposed to be watching. Yep. And if you think about the early '80s movies, uh, everything from Fast Times at Ridgemont High to Police Academy to Revenge of the Nerds. It was always about two things. It was about, like, basically unadulterated fun without consequence. Yep. And getting away with shit and a lot of pranking and things like that. And in case you hadn't figured it out, if, you have, if you've been with us on this show, you know, we kind of like that stuff, yeah. you know? Also, it was always an underdog story. <clears throat> okay? It was always, like, n- nobody expected Mahoney to graduate, much less with honors from the police academy. Yep. Nobody expected the nerds to actually become the cool kids on campus. Right. You know, and it, it, they all followed a formula, but there was something like carefree and reckless about the early to mid 80s movies before they started developing consciences. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It was all when just. You had like random tits fly across that the That was it. You're like, like, yes. You, yeah. You literally, you went, you, if you, like that movie Hard Bodies, remember that one? Yeah. Porkies. Porky's another one. Right. Basically, if you show up at this party, there's a good chance you're going to get laid, and then you might even fall in love at the end because they try to like you know, yeah. Yeah. spin yeah, yeah. it. Th- but it was always a good time. It was always about being yelled at or being chased by the police or whatever for having a good time. And I th- always said, I'm too young. I'm never going to enjoy this. And by the time the early 90s rolled around... They were right. Yeah. Because every movie became dark and depressive. And, oh, by the way, this is the consequences. Like, people 10 years older than us grew up with Revenge of the Nerds and Porky's as the model. And we had that movie Kids, where where Chloe Savini got aged just by being raped. Right. Yeah. Okay. And and this is literally, I actually went out with my girlfriend to go see Kids because everybody had raved about it. And then we always had a spot we parked at and fooled around in. Yeah. And I remember I couldn't get it up because that movie not. was such a fucking dick deflator. I've never seen anything and like that it. that was the yeah. point of that movie anyway. It was yeah. the whole point. It was to scare the shit out of us. Well, it didn't scare her at all. She was on me like, <laughs> like fucking whatever. And I'm like, I can't do this yeah. now. And, you know, she's like, oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry. Don't, 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 don't. Nope. Got to take you home. Got to take you home. Yeah. And I feel like I'm born... 10 years too late yeah. because I would have loved to have lived in a world where I could have gone to a there beach was, party and just had that kind of fun. Like the Karate Kid beach party? Like, yeah. 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 No, was, there was a movie that spo- that was the most realistic. Um, Grant, it was earlier in time, but it, it's funny because it reflected a little bit around the time that I was in school too. Was dazed, dazed and confused. All right, yeah. Was very close to what... I mean, they were getting away with a little more in that movie than I was. But even when I was in high school, we were driving around with trunks full of beer. Yeah. We were doing that stuff. We were going from like, oh, the party's here. No, it got busted. We're moving it here. Right. You know what I mean? And we did that and, and shit like... But Dazed and Confused, I think, was one of the movies that nailed it on the head about being in high school and because like, I mean Fast Times at Ridgemont High was was good like that yeah but it was, it was still a little exaggerated sti- exa- yeah. exaggerated and slapsticky 
Um, Dazed and Confused was dead on. Because they hit those parts where you're just like, well, there was do? There was a character, every character in that movie, you knew that person. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That was the thing. You knew exactly who that person was. And I could sit right now and point at every character in that movie and fucking we'll go name. through your book. This person, that one, yes. this one. Yeah. And and I could do that to almost fucking like scary. Like there's a couple of characters in that that are fucking scary because they almost looked like them. <laughs> you know, it was fucking crazy. It's called stereotyping. Yeah. Yes. But it was It's illegal now. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take us off topic on that one, but that's that exactly was, on topic. That's believe it or not, precisely what we were talking about. That's spot on. First. All right. <coughs> oh, this is one of mine. Are you guys good with it? Sure. If Jesus decided to come back today, what are his first three actions? <laughs> Kill himself. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Just he's go like, back behind the rock. He's like, hey, I got these first two, but because someone else got this other nail. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need a hand. <laughs> They're dangling. Yeah. I was able to do the first two, but I can't get this last one. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Can you put one in my head? Yeah. End this quicker. Right. <laughs> Wait, what was the question again? His first three actions? His first three actions. He basically shows up in this fucked up world we're in right now. So there's racism like pouring into the street. There's Which uh, has always been there. Nah, but, it, but, but not but it's, pouring oh, into the well, street. Well, no, and now everybody's just making it known. Yeah. All the hidden all the hidden races are, are, are like Oh, hold on. Well, there's, there's five billion more people around than when he was alive. Yep. Yeah, and we're, we've basically militarized racists. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, and so, like, this shit's going on. Um, obviously, there's economic unrest because of COVID. There's concern about disease. Yeah. Jesus has basically three wishes. Jesus has a genie. Sorry. All right. The first three things he does. <laughs> he creates a Facebook page. <laughs> 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 he, he he posts a picture of the Last Supper. <laughs> <laughs> Big old selfie at the down the table. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and, he, and he live streams his March of Tears. Yeah, <laughs> done. Well, saves no one. That's it. Saves no, no one. Nope. We're we're beyond reproach. <laughs> huh? yep. yep. I think he bails. Gets a and million. He should gets a million likes on his Instagram post. And he should bail because everybody bail. that's like. Everybody that's like, all the people that are like, I'm, you know, all these, I can't wait for him to return so he can come and find me. Like, <laughs> it's like, no, you're fucking worse. <laughs> Imagine Jesus shows up and he kneels with Kaepernick. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. That's hey, it. And the, half the world's going to be pissed because he's going to show up and he's going to be like black or Middle Eastern. They're be like... Fuck. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. That's right. And he, but also, he's going to have a football jersey on, which Kaepernick won't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, if you're going to have a quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> you think he throws a hand? He's just fucking, come on, if I can throw a tight spiral. He's got like, like half the wind resistance in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus throws a hail mom to the end zone. Hail mom. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he throws the pass, his hand goes. <laughs> <laughs> Great game today, JC. You seemed a little fleet of foot. Can you explain? <laughs> I would say, and I say, and to be honest with you, I hope that the the man that he was, I hope he would just bail and tell everybody they were fine. I would be happy with that because there would be, there's nothing more truthful than him to come forward and say, you know what? You're all idiots. Yep. And you're all done because they are. Oh, yeah. And not, I'm not saying they, I'm including myself in they, you know what I mean? I'm not. Um, pointing out anyone in particular, it's just you, 
you're all fucked up. And is I don't give a shit how fucking righteous you think you are or what you do. You've fucking done something stupid and you're fucking... Your thoughts are just as evil as fucking anybody else. Imagine if he comes down and he just chastises everyone for not buying their Nikes and getting on the Hale Bop spaceship. Yep. <laughs> I sent a ship. I sent the ship <laughs> right by. These fucking 30 people got on. <laughs> How are all of you lit? Yeah. You all missed <laughs> it. Everybody's wearing velour. We're all relaxed. <laughs> Everybody's comfortable. It's breathable. Yeah. <laughs> And then one stop. Yeah. One stop. That's it. We warned you. I left early to make sure you had tickets and you missed it. We had an early bird special. Yeah. Uh, I think he'd duet with the equally dead Eddie Money and just sing Walk on Water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, and God. then I think he nuked the fuck out of us because yep. we're not worth saving. Oh, no, no, definitely no, not. No, no. We're an awful race of people. I had this I, debate with my mother this week. That's she's, why. That's she's like, I think God is, is is testing the faith of people, and I'm like, you know what? I no, don't that think, test is over. That te- <laughs> F. I, yeah. This is detention. I yeah. think I think we all got the automatic 200 points for signing our name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that was about it. But as far as life SATs. Yeah, none of us are getting into brown. No, no. there's been a giant incomplete since yeah. fucking the dawn of time. <laughs> Nobody has done any, like n- F across the boards fucking from day one. <laughs> it's nothing. None. Earth is just shop class. D- yeah. We're all fucked. Yeah. It's fucking ridiculous. It's a pathetic Fucking set. That's why I said this week, in the beginning of the week, I was fucking front. I was like, I just want to watch it all burn because it's fucking sad. We have this, we have this gift of like this opportunity and this gift of life to do whatever, whatever we want. We have this technology to do whatever we want, and nobody does any good with it. No one. No, everyone's trying Nobody. to convince everyone else to do something yeah. else with their and, stuff. And the people that think they're doing good with it are not. They're, they're just as fucked up. I mean, their intentions may be great, but guess what? They're not great. They're not. They're, yeah. No. They're, if they're, if you're, you're set not. out to try and convince someone else to think like you, you're yes. wrong. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Let everyone just let them and fucking I'm not, think whatever and they I'm want. Not I don't saying, care. And I'm not saying anarchy. Anarchy's no. not great. But... The, if everybody was normal and fucking responsible, there wouldn't be anarchy. <laughs> you know what I mean? There just wouldn't be that way. You know, it just, it's not you know, your job to make everyone else think different. Yeah. No. Exactly, that's no. It. It's fucking oh, pathetic. I'm still God. laughing thinking about Jesus in shop class. Because <laughs> you got to imagine their call and roll is like, okay, Pontius, what's your final project? <laughs> and, <laughs> and all, yeah, all you I got. I just need two pieces of wood. Two pieces of wood. Yeah. That was it. <laughs> After I've been sitting here and you stole my fucking joke, you <laughs> son of a bitch. I'm sorry. Yeah. It just came, as soon as you said it, I was like, oh, oh. can are, I get a volunteer? You are the Barabbas of this show. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I'm saying, fuck it. Let's put a fork in it. Uh, I'm sorry, Brad. Now you should be. For so many things other than that, but yeah, yeah, uh, let's let's move along. I think uh, let's save the rest of these. We got some good ones. Yeah, in we, there. yeah, yeah there's good, good ones. ones in there. Full I think. disclosure: we peeked a little bit. We looked at some of them. Uh, we've got more than enough for the next time. Yeah. So th- this is exciting, but we do have a roundup. Yeah, and, we do. And this is the first outline we've ever done as this collective three, where the roundup was the first thing we put together on the show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's because Mr. David Blaine is back in the media. Yes, a he is. A guy, arguably, we thought. Street shit, like, magician. That's right. JC only went away for three days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> David Blaine went away for 10 years other than rape accusations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I forgot about that. The rape well, accusations. Well, that's what he was hoping for. <laughs> Is that what that's what he was just... banking on. He disappeared until everybody stopped talking about him because inevitably somebody else in Hollywood is just going to go out and sporadically rape somebody. Yep. Yeah. So that was David Blaine. Well played, magician. Well yeah. played. 
<laughs> but uh, David Blaine says, no, the environment's good. Nobody's in New York City to watch me fake this. That's right. <laughs> yeah. He's planning a new live stunt in front of a city of no one. Everybody home peeking out their windows. Yeah, yeah cuz he, he's lighting each other on fire and stabbing each other. More or less. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's broadcasting it on his YouTube channel, is that right? Well, it's on YouTube Plus, which yeah, is a, which, oh. which yeah. is like a Hulu streaming network. Yeah. Okay, all right. I so, thought he had his own channel. So he basically created another marketing deal. Yeah. And uh he's this new live stunt is basically involving him pretending he's in the Disney movie Up. Yeah. And take it. He's just he's what? He's floating He's going to float across the damn river? Is that what he's trying to he's do? He's going to float from New Jersey over the Hudson River into New York City by balloon. And not by single balloon, not by hot air balloon, by a big giant batch of balloons. Like we all dreamed would happen as children, where if you got enough of yeah. those things from Dollar Tree, they'd eventually carry you is away. Is he going to just hold on to them? I'm hoping that's what it is. Me too. I hope might. his hands get tired. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's kind of what we're saying. That's the plan. But because we are who we are, what is he really going to do to make this stunt memorable? Well, it was funny. My first one was make himself disappear for another decade. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. I was mad because I had the same exact thought. That was the first time. I'm like, oh, make it disappear again for the like 10 years. Oh, so what you're describing here is a pattern of him stealing jokes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Well, but I thought maybe he could pull a personality so out of his hat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he should lick all New York City subway handrails and retain a sense of smell. <laughs> Ironically, going off of Dave's other one, I just thought smile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe his next time he can successfully have a drink with Bill Cosby. Nice. I actually want him to develop Craigie an original thought. <laughs> But actually, my second one was make all of his jizz appear in 120 new victims simultaneously. <laughs> I wonder what he's and listening to. I want him to hang upside down in Times Square for 24 hours, just hugging the rope with his asshole. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and would that be a butthole clit? Yeah. Butthole clit, butthole yeah. Clit. Nice. He, he would really enjoy that. That would lead into what Brad said, the 120... Sp- Victims of sperm in them. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Uh, I thought maybe he could have all the Kardashians sit outside in the sun and not melt. <laughs> <laughs> they are a waxy bunch, aren't they? <laughs> I think he should do a spot-on impression of a dial tone. <laughs> how could somebody who has that much TV exposure not learn how to talk? Yep. You know, I've been accused of being fucking monotonous. I'm, I'm no, not, he's fucking. That's why I said smile. Yeah, I was like, he's just fucking blah. Oh my, he's awful. But uh, I thought he would just uh, not rape anyone. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So I like to go back to landmarks. This, a lot of these magicians go to landmarks. I yeah. Thought, hey, I like to see him swim up Niagara Falls backwards with his ass cheeks spread wide open. <laughs> <laughs> David Blaine Salmon. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should join the Trump administration as the newly appointed Minister of Magic. (laughs) (laughs) You'd be tremendous. (laughs) My magician. I got a new magician. (laughs) Don't wash my hands. He says you don't have to wear a mask. (laughs) (laughs) He's going to make the COVID disappear. Um. This is my last one. Um, I figured he'd just uh, s- swallow a sword, but the sword was just happens to be Le- Leonardo DiCaprio's dick. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a short sword. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gladius, <Yes>. they call him. <laughs> I was hoping you could finally make the stains in Monica Lewinsky's dress disappear. Nice. I'm hoping at the end of this balloon ride, he announces his new show, Chris Angel Dong Freak. (laughs) (laughs) They just make each other's dongs disappear in their faces. 
It's just it's just two of them in fucking Central Park just going yeah. poof, poof, yeah. poof, poof. Why do you make my dog disappear in his face? <laughs> <laughs> but it's got to make that poof. <laughs> it's on Channel 69. <laughs> I was wondering why Chris Angel has a lisp. Yeah. <laughs> You'd think you'd be it's able to he cure sucks. that. Right. Because <laughs> I'm hiding the card in my fucking teeth. Yeah, I meant this to disappear. So I, oh. I got to have the, the quarter in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Tyson's in Vegas like, that dude talks funny. Yeah. <laughs> I love that show, Mind Freak. Anybody else? Uh, Chris Angel. Are we ending on Chris Angel Chris, and the David Blaine? Chris Angel. Chris, Chris Angel. Chris Angel. It's, it's just mean. <laughs> you gave me two S's in my first fucking name. Yeah. Normal people only have one. <laughs> but I'm Chris. Chris. We are in Las Vegas. His parents could see the future and knew he was a douche. Like, out of this. Yeah, exactly. What do you do for a link? I'm an illusionist. <laughs> I make soft consonants disappear. <laughs> Sold. Game over. Game over. That's it. That's it. Uh, <laughs> that's fucking fantastic <laughs> mind freak uh, uh, for everybody new to the show this is about it yeah. <laughs> about oh as God. good as we get yeah um you want to go check us out in some more intelligent diatribes over yeah. at needless to say podcast.com. Uh, you can buy our shit uh, at represent.com slash store slash NTS podcast. And I know I've been promising it. You think five months of unemployment would have inspired me to build some t-shirts, but apparently really boring employment is inspiring me way much more. <laughs> We've got like six new shirts coming out. I'm going to run them by the guys probably later this weekend, if not early next week, nice. and then they're going to be live on the show. Uh, some more recent references. Some things that we've done nice. right. Uh, actually, believe it or not, I'm taking a few of the episode covers, and Ooh. I'm going to turn those into some nice. designs. Good idea. Nice. We do put a lot of work into that, and by we, I mean me. Yes. Yes. So uh, we're going to do that. But also check us out on social media on Twitter at NTS underscore podcast on Facebook at NTS no underscore podcast and on Instagram where we filmed uh, a preview of our turkey dinner tonight at all lowercase needless to say podcast. Um, Craig, tell me a little bit about Endeavor. Endeavor Podcast Illusions. If you need any help with a podcast, you want to create a new podcast, you want help with the sound, whatever you want, they got it. They'll do it for you. EndeavorPodcastSolutions.com. Amen to that. And I'm going to call on Chris Angel to take us out. Neither to say we said it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>